saving things, I work the body on myself. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Because think about it. When you think of media, what is the media really about? Think about it for a minute. What is the media about? Somebody raise their hand or throw it out there. What's the media about? Communication. Communication. Promotion. Promotion. Advertising. Advertising. Storytelling. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> the media is about stories. It's about storytelling. And that's what we are at Path to Publishing. Yes, we teach writers and authors how to write, publish, market, sell, distribute books. We work with corporations and nonprofits. I like to say that we take words and we sculpt them into literary art that forms amazing content that brings awareness to your brand and customers to your business. <laughs> Broke that into myself. <laughs> anyway, storytelling. So when you think of the media, and I don't know, do you all know the title of my presentation? It's B, and I put that in capital bold letters, and in parentheses, ready for, and then the media, me, you me, bold caps, B, the media. What do we all have that the media wants? A story. A story. We all have a story, an amazing, remarkable story. I'm going to grab my notes really quick. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, so I have my notes because I, I, I love my story. I love me. And a lot of times we think, oh, is my story worth sharing? Is my story worth telling? Who's going to want to come after me to hear my story? And that is the biggest takeaway that I want you to get from today. You don't have to wait around for someone to be interested in your story in order to tell it, in order to share it. Be the media. Some of you are already the media if you're journaling. Some of you are already the media if you are intentionally focusing on your social media content. You're doing stories on LinkedIn. You're writing articles on Medium. You're blogging. You are already the media. You're already the media. Just think about it. But a lot of times we need that confidence and we need that courage to be able to operate in that confidence. Okay, because confidence is different. A lot of times we say, well, you know, you have to be confident. You need confidence. It takes confidence. I am a very confident person, but I don't always have the courage to use and show that confidence. So in growing up, storytelling, writing it, that was a way I could release that power that courage, even though it's in the moment, I wasn't sharing it in the world. Our stories, our, our writing, those, those are, like, that's our legacy. And you know what else it is? It's our IP. It's our intellectual property. Your story as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, should be your first product. Your story should be your first product. Think about that. And you can leverage your story and you can monetize your story. Path to publishing, we're in publishing. We help people leverage and monetize their stories every single day. And a lot of times we think our stories have to be cohesive, that they have to be connected, that we have to be focused on this one thing and this one thing only. Being focused is very important, but being focused on the task, the purpose, the mission, the assignment, the story at hand. I learned yesterday through working with um, 
my oratory skills and persuasive speaking coach, Christine at Storyville Road, that you don't always have to focus on sharing everything you know. Your story, our stories are an elephant. And how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. You can share those stories in pieces. And I'm a very wordy person. I work with words all day. I can be long-winded because I want everybody to know everything that I know because I might die tomorrow. <laughs> and my team hates when I say that. So I don't like trimming off. I don't like taking away what I need to say because for me, I feel like I'm erasing a part of my story. I feel like I'm erasing a part of me. But when you talk media and sharing your story, the media doesn't care about you. The media, honestly, they don't really care about your story as much as they care about how is your story going to touch someone's life? How is your story going to change the trajectory of someone's life? How is your story going to save someone's life? And no story is too small. No story is too small but you take those core pieces from who you are and what you do, how you do it, and how what you do helps other pieces and you deliver that. Again, in working with Christine, I learned, I always like to give credit where credit is due because I didn't wake up like this, people helped me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people helped me get to this and I, I just, it's shocking when you work with other people, because when you want to transform, when you want to reset, you really kind of need some help. Because it's your thoughts most of the time that's getting you in trouble. Those, not necessarily stories we tell ourselves, but the false stories we tell ourselves. And the false stories we tell ourselves, they are what are blocking us from telling our true stories. And so when I, want you to think media. And I know a lot of times when you hear, oh, media training, I'm going to learn which tone to talk in. I'm going to learn not to wear stripes and, and, and polka dots and this color and that color. I'm going to learn at what pace to speak. But all you have to do is learn how to be you. And this workshop has one bullet point. Be you. I can't train you to do that, but I can give you the permission to be freaking you. I mean, look at me. <laughs> We're gonna pass out a, 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 a worksheet in a minute, and on one of these worksheets, it's listing a few of your favorite things. Heck, I wore a few of my favorite things. <laughs> it's like diamonds, pearls, Lace, my daughter's looking at this in the morning like, no more Bridgertons for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it all. You gotta just, you, you can't do it all, mom. You gotta choose this, that, and the other. And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I do not have to choose. When our story, when we focus on the content, the content of our story, not us, not what we look like, not what we sound like, not how fast we're speaking or how slow we're speaking so that I can make sure everyone hears every word. Right now I'm going to put on my Frasier Crane hat and I'm going to say words that I looked up last night in the source <laughs> that pray to God this interviewer doesn't ask me what the hell it means. <laughs> or I can tell them like it is. I'm like Archie Bunker or the younger George Bush. I make up words. You'll understand it. Bring the context. Don't be context clues. You'll get it. Be you. And so that's what I want to help you do right now with this worksheet.
Yeah. Own who you are. Like, that is how you get ready for the media. By being you. By saying, who am I? Who do I be? And own every part of that. So you'll see your workshop. And I'm going to follow you because I have the workshop right here. And every now and then. <laughs> Got to check and make sure. No, but really. It's not about what you look like, what you're wearing, in my opinion. Because let me tell you this. You can hand me your jewels. You can hand me your gems in a blue Tiffany box or a greasy paper bag. If it's going to add value to my life, the price doesn't change. The value doesn't change. And that's what we have to think about our content. It's the content. Be driven by your story. Be driven by your content. Be driven by your message. And I know we live in a society where that's hard to say. I know you, you see a, a lot of folks, they'll get on the stage and auditoriums are filled and they've got on a hoodie and they've got on tennis shoes. Like, yeah, but they're a billionaire. Yeah, but they're a trillionaire. Yeah, but what they have in their bank account cannot come close to what you have in your heart, what you have in your spirit, what you have in your soul, your story, your message, your testimony. Whether it's for personal development and growth, spiritual development and growth, business development and growth, we've had clients who did, we helped them tell their story of how they grew their hair. How when they were younger, their hair was this length and they always thought that it was long, gorgeous, beautiful hair that made you the person who you are. And she went on a journey to grow her hair and she did it, a two year journey. And so what did everyone, everybody wanna know? How did you grow it? How did you grow your hair? How did you grow it? How did you grow it? And we got together and we did almost like a, a 30 page personal narrative on her journey. And so now she shares that within that, it wasn't, well, I washed it three times a week and I did that. She shared her journey, emotional journey, and how at the end of it, the hair was just hair. But what she loved about it was healthy. It was beautiful, it was something she did. It was something she grew. And it wasn't the hair that made her stand out or boost her self-esteem. It was the journey. It was the story. And it's a 30 page ebook on Amazon. And whenever anybody asks her that question, she gets a one click. She gets money for sharing her story. <laughs> so a lot of people tell you, yeah, but you gotta make it media worthy. You gotta make it life saving worthy. You gotta make it life changing worthy. News, what's news? That's subjective these days. <laughs> That's subjective. You can be the media and be ready for the media at the same time. Okay, so we have our worksheets. And these are really, really fun worksheets. At least I think they're really, really fun. And I want you to start filling them out. Go ahead and start filling them out. Um, your name. And it can be your, your given name, your professional name, your pen name, your nickname, your alter ego. That's all of you. That's all of you. So really write that down. Like my sister called me Winky when I was little. So when I filled out my form, Winky. My uncle called me the great one. I know that sounds great, but it was the great dodo. So, <laughs> <laughs> but then as I got older, he said, well, I guess we'll leave dodo off because you know, but the great one. So all of those things, you're all of those things. Are you married? Happily or not, it doesn't matter. Single, happily or not. And this is just for you, so write it. Write it down. Again, a few of your favorite things. I'm wearing all mine. Write yours down. Your job, your career, your business. And that can be more than one thing. Hobby. Those can all be different. Own every part of you. What do you do? Do you like, love what you do for a living or do you just do it because you gotta live? 
be honest because this is you, this is your story. And with this worksheet, I know you're not gonna get it done today, but I want you to use this as a foundation to build your story and who you are and who you're here to serve. Because again, it has to be content driven, but it has to be about the audience. It has to be about the people. So the content is the drive. The destination is your audience. A story that is worth listening to can change lives and is media worthy to be heard.